you guys? Good morning. Welcome to this video. Today's gonna be like a transformation video. Not even transformation. I'm just gonna get ready. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get ready, get a little put together, and I don't know. I feel like I haven't self tanned in a while, so I self tanned the other day. I have to wash it off still. I did my nails. This gorgeous blue. If you guys watched that video, I want to do my lashes. I gave my lashes a little bit of a break once in a while. I like to do that. Oh, is that a train? I love trains. Um, obviously, I'm gonna wash my hair. Just take some time today to get ready because for me personally, I am home what feels like 24 7 other than when I maybe have somewhere to go or go grocery shopping or something because I homeschool, I'm with my kids, they're still little-ish. Well, my daughter just turned 10 so they're not that little but I have been with them since she was born so 10 years I've been home and I don't know I just feel like I feel better when I'm a little bit more put together and I put a little effort into my physical appearance which don't get me wrong I love comfy clothes loungy clothes that is my comfy is my top priority first order of business though is to wash off the self tan which I have not self tanned in a hot minute but I applied a combination of two self tanner I used a combination of Bondi Sands and Loving Tan I think they're both like a express version but I saw a TikTok of a girl mixing both of them because they both have different undertones but these so, are the two I use I use Loving Tan to a why do I keep saying tan I can't stand that word when it comes out of my mouth it just sounds so tan I don't know Loving Tan two hour exp express and the dark the only thing is they gotta fix this cap situation because it just leaks and it's a mess. Let her do her business. Try and cover up that stinkiness. This is the second one that I use. So this is Bondi Sands, the Arrow One Hour Express. So this one dries really quick. It's like a green, super green formula. This one is very chocolatey. Mixing them two together, perfect combination in my opinion. And that's what I did. So now I'm gonna go ahead and wash it off. That was not an enjoyable shower at all. Our power went out yesterday. It was thunderstorming. And when the power goes out, you have to turn the water heater back on. And I forgot. This is like the second time this has happened. Well, it's happened quite a few times, but usually my husband will turn on the water heater. But I forgot, and it was a nice, refreshing, cold morning shower. <sighs> Once I'm in there, I'm like, no, don't tell me. And then I remember, I'm like, you know what? You have no choice but to get it over with. Wash it off, get it over with, and I had to wash my hair. And I'm like, do I wash the hair? Do I get out? No, we wash the hair. We got out. We're good. How people take cold showers or do cold plunges is beyond me. It's for the birds, for the birds. It's not for me, but I'm gonna go put on a super comfy sweater and some sweatpants but this is the guide color by the way i'd save my hands i probably should have washed them off usually i wash them off an hour in but i got to watching gilmore girls and i fell asleep but if i would have washed them an hour in they would have looked a lot more natural right now they kind of stand out right now everything stands out because of my face but it's a pretty decent tan it looks a little crazy in the sliding but i promise you it's cute i'm gonna do my skincare but I'm gonna apply eye patches because I feel like eye patches are a little extra something to make you feel like you're having a self-care moment. Face is nice and clean, I'm just gonna apply some serum. I got this sample from Kylie Skin. It's niacinamide and zinc clarifying serum and I actually like that it's fragrance free. They sent me a replacement for the perfume. Really great customer service. I got the perfume as a gift the cosmic one from a friend and the sprayer stopped working so i reached out to them we emailed back and forth i sent them pictures and stuff and they asked if i want to replace it i said absolutely so i got it the other day and there's like a little sample in there i'm telling you my hands look so green you have to trust the process i promise i'm gonna apply some doodab i don't usually use this but i bought it sometime last year so i might as well use it up ozonated beauty balm I think I'm all out. Oh, we got a little bit in there still. This is the Kopari moisturizer, vitamin C moisturizer they sent. And I think we're basically all out. I'll have to open it up and see. I have some Kopari fragrances I ordered myself. They came out with that are coming today. I'm really excited for those.
before I go ahead and put on sweater, this is the guide color. Nice fresh tan. It just looks like I came back from vacation or something. And also for the bed, I have the Tansy. It's laundry day, so I have my laundry down here. But I have the Tansy tanning sheet. You can use any kind of sheet, but that one specifically made like a sleep sack. And then it has an insert for your pillow. And I got the one in black, like a black satin. I think it's sold out on Amazon, but they do have other brands. Just look up like tanning sheet. That way you don't have to get your bed dirty. I'm going to take this oil for you oil based remover and remove the leftover mascara because oils are the enemy I'm gonna go in with Lash Link's lash primer and this is gonna help get rid of those oils dab some into the eye area to get rid of those oils and now I'm gonna do my makeup I'm gonna use my trusted Jane Iredale powders they were on sale for Prime Day for $36 I think or $32 so about a $10 difference from the original price which is really good I posted it to my YouTube in like the community tab, but I'm not sure how many people saw that. I did not prep for Prime Day, nor did I really shop Prime Day. There were a few things that I had in my save for later, and then Prime Day came around, and I'm like, wait a minute, why is this the same price? And then I felt like I was being gaslit because it was on sale for let's say $33. And then the original price was $66, and I'm like, there's no way that this was $66. Like, I don't remember this being $66, like the MSRP. And so it seemed like such a good deal because it was like 50% off, and I'm like, I could have sworn I had it in my cart for the exact same price that it's on sale for. So unless you're shopping certain brands like um, A Cosmetics, Too Faced, L'Oreal, all those brands that are known brands that you can buy at Walmart and stuff, or Alta, Sephora, and they usually will have sales on Prime Day where you want electronics, coffee maker, vacuum, spot cleaner, whatever. But if you're buying like random stuff from these random brands, I feel like they will gaslight you into thinking you're getting a good deal when you're really not. Because today the price is $41 from $33, which I feel like it was even cheaper before, but whatever. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Makeup is basically done. I just gotta do the brows. For lashes, I want something kind of big and bold. I'm going to use these right here from Baileyon Green Extend Style ZJ02. I think I'm going to do a 12, a 12, some 10s. You know what, maybe we'll go a little higher. We'll start with 14, a 12, and 10. And I'm using a poofy glam glue. I don't know, I just kind of reach for whatever glue, honestly, half the time. Let me do a lash map and I'll tell you guys what I came up with. Yeah, 14, a 12, and two tens. I think I might grab one more 12 and place it on top. I feel like it needs a little bit more depth. So I did one 12, and I think I'm gonna do one more right next to it. I ended up switching to a black glue because that poofy one was too gunky and it was annoying me. And I had to redo it a couple times. This eye I feel like has so much glue on it that I almost want to take it off and start over, but I'm not. I'm gonna leave it. And we're gonna move on to the hair because I feel like at this point my hair is so dry and I need to do it before it dries like this. This thing is amazing. It's from Amazon. It's like an oversized thin microfiber towel so it's not as heavy as a typical towel and it's not as small as a hand towel or thick. It's the perfect hair towel. I have some extensions coming in next week, long ones. If they're a good color match, I might apply them. I go back and forth between wanting extensions, wanting long hair, wanting short hair. But I'm going to start off with the K18 hair treatment and distribute it through the hair. I also got a small sample of the Dreamco Colorwell Supernatural Spray. When I bought something from Sephora, this was one of the freebies you can get, like the coupon codes. So this is what I got. You're supposed to spray it into sections. But I felt like it made my hair a little greasy. I don't know. I have to play around with it and see. And I'm just going to do a hair oil on the ends. I'm going to use my Shark Flex Style. I'm going to blow dry it and then go in with the wrong brush. It is 
8 o'clock in the morning. We can't really see. And I'm all ready for the day. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. Usually I don't wake up 8 o'clock. I'm not looking like this. But I felt like, you know what? I want to look cute. I want to look put together. I want to do my makeup. I want to do my lashes. I did my nails the other day. I want to self-tan. I haven't self-tanned in a while. So I was like, you know what? I want to look cute. I want to look cute even though I'm at home. I'm not going anywhere. And I feel like I look cute. I'm not here trying to say that, you know, looks are physical looks are important and they're gonna make you happy or anything like that that's not the message it's just that sometimes by getting ready for the day especially if you're a stay-at-home mom and you know putting yourself together making the bed doing things like that it it's like a little bit of a mood boost you know not always but sometimes I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me I'll link anything I used down below and I really hope to see you guys in future videos